guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Yes, on Wiki, who was a man of integrity, has lost all sense of integrity with his latest anti-party activities to the extent that the people of River State have started kicking against him. Governor Wike is after his personal interest, but River State people know who to vote for. PDP former chairman, seconders. Let's find out more as we hit the news. A former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Uche Seconders, has said that the governor, Yenson Wike of River State, is only seeking his personal interest, adding that the people of the state are wise and have rejected the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Tinibu. Speaking on Arise TV morning show on Wednesday, Seconders said that the governor, Yenson Wike's move, to canvas votes for Bolatinibu will end up in vain. Recall that there have been reports that Yeson Wike, who is the leader of the aggrieved PDP governors who identify themselves as G5, is working for Tinibu for the Saturday presidential poll. However, the PDP ex national chairman said that Rivers people have refused to vote for Tinibu, stressing that in terms of track record, Tinibu cannot be compared to the PDP presidential candidates at Tiku Abubakar, stating how Rivers people are very wise and very intelligent set of people, that Nyeson Wike is seeking for his own personal interest, but the Rivers people are not going that way. No matter the appeals to some chiefs and all of that, the Rivers people know the truth, and the truth is that you cannot compare Bola Tinibu and Alaji Atiku Abubakar, second stated, my country people, this is really happening. You know, you know that uh, Yeson Wike had told his people that anywhere he goes, they should follow, that uh, they should adopt, you know, the system he, he chooses to follow. They should please cast their votes according to the pattern adopted by the state government. That is what he told them, that if they want him to survive politically, they should follow him or they should heed to the instructions he had dished out to them, stating how he will, you know, lead them to the promised land and all. And with the way Yeson Wike is going, we all know that Yeson Wike is not supporting the People's Democratic Party PDP leadership. Atiku Abubaka, Ayoche Ayu, they are kicking against the PDP leadership, which is why the PDP had sorted you know, to suspend Yeson Wiki or even expel him in the process of that. But uh, Yeson, Wiki, uh, Yeson Wiki, pardon, quickly went to the courts to seek an order to stop the PDP from uh, suspending or expelling him. And after that, it didn't stop there. He also went and, you know, made public declarations that uh, he will not support those who, after when they come to power, they will want to kill him, or they want to assassinate him, or they will want to jail him. You know, Wiki have been making all sorts of accusations that even dragging the people of River State, that they should not support, you know, the people, that when they come into power, they will kill him or assassinate him or jail him. And we all know the particular presidential candidate he is referring to. No other person than Atiku Abubakar. So he has stated that the people of River State should vote against Atiku Abubakar, that Atiku Abubakar does not want his assistance. And this particular statement by Yeson Wiki has kept many people talking. He has brought a lot of reactions by so many Nigerians. Now, recently, uh, Seconders has stated that uh, the people of River State are wise. They know who they will vote for. And Bola Tinibu is not that person, that they should go ahead you know, and not be deceived by Yeson Wike to cast their vote for Ashweju uh, Bolad Metinibu. They should go ahead and vote for Atiku Abubakar, my country people. As we all know, politics is about selfish interests, is about personal interests. Yes, and our politicians, they have their own selfish interests. Each and every one of, you know, them in that politics have their own selfish personal interests. So Yeson Wike has not really, you know, 
told us why he is involved in these anti-party activities. But at the front, he will paint it like uh, he is doing it because the PDP did not treat him well. He is seeking for where there is fairness. He is seeking for where there is justice. He is seeking for where there is equity and peace and all and all. Just making excuses. Meanwhile, he and he alone knows the reason why he is supporting Hashiwedu Bolad Metinibu. And he is trying to drag the people of River State to support Bola Tinibu, which I know that so many people in Rivers will kick against it. I'm telling you, so many people will kick against it because there's a saying that uh, you will force the, the, the camel to the well, but you cannot force the camel to drink water from the well. That is just it. At the elections day, I'm definitely sure that Nyeson Wike will not be there at the polling unit to point gun at people's head and say, this is who you will vote for. Go and vote for Tinibu. If you don't vote for Tinibu, uh, you, you know what will come after. No, no, no. We know that that will not happen. Yes, Omwike has only one vote, and the people in River State has their votes. And they will decide who they would vote for. Yes, Omwike cannot detect or tell them who they would vote for and who they will not vote for. And I'm certainly sure that um, there are some PDP loyalties, there are some PDP strong members in the state, that will still go ahead and vote for uh, Atiku Abubakar, despite the fight, the argument between uh, Yeson Wike and Atiku Abubakar. So that is just it, my country people. Second, this has stated that the people of River State should not mind uh, Wike. They should reject the presidential candidate of the ruling or progressive Congress, Bola Tinibu. They should not vote for you know, Bola Tinibu. That uh, Wike's move to canvass votes for Tinibu will end up in vain because the people of River State are very wise and they are intelligent. They have seen through Yes on Wike that Yes on Wike is only seeking for his own personal interests. He's only seeking for his own selfish interests. And the people of River State, they are not going to take the path that Yes on Wike has decided to, you know, to take. So my country people, what are your thoughts, you know, consigning this statement made by Mr. Secondus, who has stated that Nyeson Wike is only going after his personal interest and not for the interest of, you know, River State. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now.